with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about making DIY protective covers for your planners. I have several examples here of covers that I've made. Um, this one actually you can see um, some pen splats on there. This is a... These are just accordion file folders that I am going to show you how to cut down and make into protective covers for your planner. These are really nice if you're throwing your planner into a backpack or into a drawer. I used to travel every week and my planner would get thrown into my backpack um, and this saved the cover quite a bit. So as you can see I've got all different sizes here. Um, this is a big, a couple of different classic size covers. Um, this is a mini and let's so let's talk about what to look for when looking for an accordion folder for a cover. So this, I believe I got this at Dollar Tree, but most of the covers I get uh, from either Amazon, but usually Walmart. Um, this one is a file folder for envelopes. I think I spent maybe 99 cents on it. You can see inside, it's just got some plastic pockets. Um, and I got this one because it is the perfect size for a skinny classic. So, um, plus I thought the black would look really great with the gold rings. Um, you're looking for something that's got an attachment point not too close to the bottom. So you can see here, also I prefer the rubber band ones because they give me a little space to expand. You can have any size discs on this. Um, this one actually uh, is a little bit small. I actually had to take the cover of the planner off. Sorry, the, I think this is just a notebook. So this is the notebook and you can see these are a little bit too tall. They stick out outside the cover, um, but that's okay since I'm just trying to protect this. Um, this definitely does the job. So this is just a, a little expanding coupon folder. I think I got this off of Amazon. Um, no, no room for this one to get chunky. There's no elastic here. Um, and the attachment point is a little bit close to the spine, but as you can see, it works out okay. Again, just these little um, pockets that rip right out, and we'll get to that here in a minute. Um, one other option I found for a mini, this is a little um, business card holder from, I got this at Daiso, and it actually is tall enough that I could leave the original cover on this one. And it's got the elastic. One drawback to this one though is it's not a full flap. So um, you wouldn't actually enclose the end of your planner and if you had a pen loop in there that would not actually be enclosed. But this one would, would definitely fit. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do obviously is peel all these stickers off. Easy remove stickers, right? And these actually were. So if you're having a frustrating day, this is the fun part. We're actually going to just pull this inside part right out. And it should pop right out. It's going to leave a few little bits. Um, and depending on how close you're going to come to keeping that edge, you might need to clean that up a little bit. And you can throw this part away, this inside part. I don't have any use for this. Um, if you do come up with a use for it, let me know. It's a little too flimsy to turn into any kind of a dashboard or bookmark or anything. Plus it's open at the bottom, so. Okay, so this actually did leave a little bit of debris on there, but that's okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the front flap. So we're going to cut this off right where it's already creased. And I'm just going to use my paper trimmer for that. This one's actually a little bit thinner than the ones I usually get at Walmart. That's why I'm thinking this, I think that Jot brand 
is actually from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this in my paper trimmer. And for those of you that didn't know, I didn't know, when your blade on your paper trimmer gets dull, you don't have to buy a whole new paper trimmer. You can just um, replace that. They're relatively universal. Um, it pops right out. So just cutting right along that crease. But if you just spread these a little bit, this actually pops right out. I ordered a, like a six pack, a multi pack of replacements off of Amazon. And um, when it starts to get dull, I just replace it. All right, so this is gonna get punched along this edge. And popped in there, right about like that. And then that'll stretch around. So I think I wanna go ahead and just trim this, trim this off straight here as my next step, because I don't need those two little flaps. So I'm just gonna line that up as best I can and cut those off. All right, then since this is a little bit of a rigid plastic, I do like to round these corners. Um, and I've killed many a cheap corner rounder by doing that. So I invested in a, a Crocodile corner chomper. Um, and it's got two different sizes. You can do quarter inch or half inch. I usually prefer the quarter inch. Actually, before we chomp our corners though, we need to make sure our our height is correct and it is not. It's a little bit long and it looks like I can cut, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there are these little dots from where they, they heat welded that inside in. So I'm just gonna use those as my, looks like if I cut right along the outer line of dots at the top and the bottom, that'll give me the right size. So I'm going to cut those off. And that way my connection point here stays centered. Okay. All right. Now, now we're clear to go ahead and chomp our corners. So this is short, but the flap's going to come around and protect this bit. And I like that height, that's great. Okay, so go ahead and do our corner rounding. I also laminate a lot of my own covers, which I will show you in another video. Uh, but the corner chomper is a must have for that process as well. And then last but not least, we need to punch so that we can pop this right on the discs. So if you have a Happy Planner Punch, you can try it. I've heard many, many horror stories though of something this heavy breaking, literally popping out a spring and breaking the Happy Planner Punches. So I happen to have this, um, I'm lucky I've got this Levenger, hand-me-down Levenger Punch. It's pretty heavy duty um, and it will go through this okay. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball the center of this. There is another shortcut you can use. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera with my shoulder there. Um, there is another sh shortcut you can do. You can use a single round hole punch to punch each of these. So you won't end up with a half mushroom head. You'll end up with a full rounded punch. Um, and then you just cut, use your scissors to cut the slit up to those. Uh, and that works just fine. Uh, I've, I've done that before. So now we can just pop this right on the discs. And there we go, there's our front cover. Let's go ahead and get to the back. So for the back, since this one's already creased, 
And I like where the crease is. You can recrease these if you want to. I'm just going to kind of pull this a little bit tight and then use a little, a little white gel pen, since this is a black cover, to make a mark where I want to cut it. And I'm just going to cut it pretty much even with the front cover. So right about here. Okay. So pull this off. Get this out of the way. Back to our paper camera. Oops. Line this up with the little tick mark I made. All right. And then I do need to go ahead and trim my top and bottom. So again, paper trimmer works just fine for this. There's one side, and I don't even mind um, that little change to the edge. That's not bad at all. Cut right along that outer row of dots, just like I did on the front. There we go. Okay, we're pretty much done with our paper trimmer. I am going to go ahead and round these two back corners with my crop dial. Make sure I get the right, oops, the right size corner. There we go. And then last but not least, we need to punch it. And again, I'm just kind of mostly eyeballing it. Let's see if I can do it without bumping the camera this time. There we go. Now we pop this on the back. And you'll see here, I've got plenty of space if I want to go ahead and go from, from the mini discs up to the classic or even the expander discs. Thanks to the rubber band, I've got plenty of space. So there we go. There is our DIY travel cover, and you're gonna follow this exact same process for a classic, for a big, for a mini. Um, you just, again, wanna make sure you pick something with an attachment point that is closer to the center, so you've got more leeway as far as sizing and trimming. Um, and if you can, if you want, find one that's got a little rubber band. That way you can get chunky and it won't cause an issue. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of room in here for some kind of pen loop or whatever you want to put in there. I'll clean these little edges up. I'll just grab a little pair of needle, needle nose pliers and pull these little extra bits of plastic off. They come right off. So. That is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if there are other things you'd like to see, please leave me a request in the comments down below. Uh, and please consider um, subscribing. That definitely encourages me to uh, add more content. Thank you.